Hi guys and welcome to another Hoi4 video. In today's video I'm gonna be unlocking every single achievement as Brazil. And besides that I'm gonna show you a very powerful Brazil strat. So without further ado let's start with the video. I'm gonna start by exercising our army. Now let's research basic machine tools and engineering. I'm gonna build mills in Pernambuco. Let's also buy one factory of steel and let's produce guns and convoys. Let's also create our agency real quick. Our first focus is gonna be second in Tentona Comunista. In order to get all the achievements you have to go communist. Oh yeah, sellout time. Please like and subscribe. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'm gonna upload another Brazil run and that one will be like four times more epic than this one. Trust me, it will be. So just like it, please. Please. I need I need likes. Anyway, let's get economy civilian. We finished our first focus. I'm gonna wait until I hit 150 political power. Let's now hire communist intellectual, although these two words should never go together. So based, I know. Anyway, our next focus is radicalize the proletariat. Let's get sus pills. We got our first spy. I'm gonna start building intel network inside of the USA. Let's go for the aftermath of the coffee crisis. And our next focus is radio nacional. This will give us some stability, some research bonuses, and also to research a radio. Let's get concentrated one. Our next focus is revive the Alianza Nacional Libertadora. And let's now launch the revolution. The civil war is gonna start in a couple of days, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete all of our divisions. And now I'm gonna show you how you can easily win the civil war. I'm gonna slow down the game and I'm gonna pick the Sway de Cagnasso to our cause focus. Yeah, this focus would be more useful if I finished it before the civil war, but that way I would lose time. Anyway, we got eight divisions. I'm gonna pick the westernmost division, and that division will go for Goiana. This is a a little bit of a bad RNG, sometimes they spawn even here. As for the remaining 7 divisions, I'm gonna split them all up into their own army. And let's now draw naval invasions. Each one of these divisions will land into one victory point on the coast. Starting from Porto Alegre, all the way to Vitoria. Also, it's a good time to get political fox for some daily political power gain. Anyway, now I'm gonna launch all of these naval invasions, except for the one that goes to Vitoria, because sometimes there's divisions here just because it's close to the front line. My navy is out of range, but we do have one submarine which has enough range. When our divisions pass by Vittoria and we make sure that there is no divisions there, I'm gonna launch the final division that's gonna go there. After taking Santos, instantly go to Sao Paulo because it's a massive victory point. And after taking these cities, start moving in west so that you gain some extra victory points in case they're like 99% towards capitulation. And we took Porto Alegre and that's enough. We won the civil war. It took us 24 days. GG. I'm gonna justify on the Dutch East Indies. Also, our next focus is Kangasoku. Let's put up these guys into two armies. First one will go to Fortaleza and will naval invade up here. The second army will go to Recife and will naval invade in The Hague and also in this province. I'm gonna give them staff, let's exercise them, let's give them trucks and let's convert them to the big infantry template. I'm also gonna put two more infantry divisions into training, so they have five divisions each instead of four. Let's get the professional officer corps. Let's produce one factory of support equipment, one factory of trucks, one factory of artillery. 100% Intel network in USA, let's do quiet Intel network. And now we are at the Cangasso Brazil. Next focus is the People's University of Brazil, which will give us the third research slot. And let's remove the engineers from the duplicated template. And I'm gonna convert all of these guys to that new template, so that way I save all the support equipment. Let's get army defense expert. Let's start researching planes. Our second operative is here. We can start preparing our first collaboration government in the USA. The next focus is nationalization of industry. This will give us two civs. Boy, do I love spending my entire country's research just to make a plane. Let's get ground support expert for air XP. The next focus is rapid industrialization. This will give us two mills. I have to create a tiny template, just one infantry battalion, and let's put like 30 of these into training. Our justification is ready. I gave our guy the offensive doctrine. I'm gonna split off our one tiny submarine, and it's out of range, but we can ask Soviets for military access. The thing is, we have to get it to the Bay of Biscay, but because of this red region, it will not go there directly. However, if we send it to like Leningrad, is gonna go through this region anyway. While the submarine will get the naval dominance in this area, our actual navy will get the naval dominance next to Brazil. And let's declare war on the Dutch East Indies. I'm gonna launch the first naval invasion, and after about a day or two I'm gonna launch the second one. Time to deploy these 30 or well 22 divisions. Now let's convert them to this big template. That way we're gonna have lots of army in the field. Just like we planned, our divisions first arrived in the north, and only now they're arriving down here. Our next focus is Embrace Socialist Aligned Theologians. This is OP, we get 20% political power gain and also nice 10% stability. These guys are leaving, let's pin these guys in Rotterdam as well as these guys in North and let's go for the Amsterdam. Just like that, we took their capital, let's keep pushing. They're trying to attack us but it doesn't matter, we can always pull back into enemy territory. 
And that's it, the Netherlands is gone, just like that. I'm going to steal their entire navy. Let's pop at them and let's steal their civs in Europe. Let's take Curaçao and Suriname for ourselves. When it comes to Dutch East Indies, I'm gonna steal their civs wherever they got them. Let's also steal their resources in Sumatra. These guys will now have a naval invasion from Rotterdam into Portsmouth, and my entire navy will be moved to the Netherlands. Our next focus is proletarian equality, and let's go for the war economy. And our next focus is expand revolution. For this one, you need to have 200,000 army in the field, that's why I did this funny thing with these divisions. Also, let's get superior firepower. We prepared the first cooperation government in the USA, and it's 45%. Let's start building up into network here again. I also need production of transport planes, so let's try to get at least five factories of them going. I'm also gonna modify this template, I'm gonna remove artillery and add one cavalry, that way we have pure 10 with cavalry. Also it's good time to go for improved worker conditions for some extra stability. Next focus is the Latin American Socialist Cooperative. Anyway, let's take all these divisions and let's convert them to the cavalry template. I'm gonna put 14 of them into this first army and let's send them to the Netherlands. As for the remaining eight, they're gonna be in the second army and they're gonna be on the Uruguayan border. Let's get the devoted communist, he's gonna get us some factory output and also really nice compliance daily gain modifier thingy. Let's also research paratroopers. Let's start justifying on Portugal because one of our achievements is to take all of their states. Our next focus is establish Ulaser which will give us course in all of the South and Central America. Also let's prepare the second collaboration government in the USA. Also let's go for liberated workers occupation law and this template as the garrison template. Our next focus is South American imperialism and the UK has guaranteed Portugal which is exactly what we want to see. Branch independent spirit for some more air XP and I should have went for this earlier. Should have done this earlier as well. When it comes to the South America the country that we want to take out is Uruguay because they have pretty solid industry and they have like five divisions. Look guys woman emoji ha ha ha. Also, let's get flexible organization for that 5% division speed. And I could also go for infantry expert. I'm gonna go for collectivization of agriculture first. Anyway, before the UK guarantees Uruguay or something, let's institute the Quare on it. And I don't get it, why do we get the puppet to our goal? We actually get cores in all of these countries. It's so stupid. Anyway, Uruguay shouldn't be that hard to take out. They usually deploy one division in capital, but if you let them walk out, they're just gonna walk out. Now, when it comes to the Uruguay, I'm gonna puppet them in one state which has the smallest number of factories. This one has only two, so let's pop them here and let's get the sieves from here. I'm gonna take the remaining two states and I'm gonna take their destroyers. In the meantime, I could also take out one more country. Let's try to take out Bolivia. Also, we got almost 50 transport planes, so let's lower the production of them. Time to attack Bolivia. This is our next focus. This is gonna give us some steel in our capital and also one sieve. There goes one of their cities, two of their cities, three of their cities, Bolivia is gone. What the hell? They managed to take the state away from me. Yeah, I'm gonna annex it as well. Oh yeah, they have the decisions. If they grab control over the state, they can just own it. Yeah, that's a little bit stupid, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's put some of these partial divisions into training. I'm gonna go with eight of them. These 12 divisions will also go to the Netherlands. Let's get formation flying. When we attack UK, sometimes we're gonna keep our naval dominance here for a couple of hours, which means we'll be able to naval invade UK. I also just realized by Bolivia stealing this state from us, it lost the <laughs> neglected state modifier. Let's first deploy these para poopers. Let's set them to the Netherlands as well. We also have an airport here, so let's deploy your transport planes here. Here's the funny thing. Since the Netherlands is my puppet, I'm not gonna call them into the war. Since they're not gonna be in the war, the AI France and the AI UK will not send their planes here. So never have to fight over the air dominance in this region. Let's start justifying on Panama. Second collaboration government is ready. It's 45%. Next focus is invest in railways and all four divisions are now in the Netherlands. So let's declare war on Portugal. I'm instantly gonna launch this naval invasion and let's see if it's gonna launch or not. It didn't launch. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, I'm gonna take my paratroopers, I'm gonna power drop them into Portsmouth, and also all of the provinces that border it. Here, let's find tiny Dutch template, we got this one, let's copy it, and let's put some of these into training. We took Portsmouth, so let's instantly send our entire first army there. So it sent me 10 volunteer divisions, those divisions will protect Brazil in case they make a naval invasion or something. Alright, it's time to start microing inside of the UK. If you grab the control over Nottingham, and if you have this guy as our leader, which we do, We'll get the Mary Band achievement. The studies have shown if we push enough north, they're just gonna capitulate. Liverpool up for grabs, don't mind if I do. Also, let's now invest in road infrastructure. They should make an infrastructure rework and call it Road to Victory DLC. And it should be German rework as well. <laughs> also, look at this, they just gave up London. Yeah, don't mind if I take that as well. We can also take Plymouth. 
Let's quickly take Hull, and just like that, the UK has capitulated. The only country that has to capitulate is France. How am I gonna do that? Well, first let's deploy these touch divisions. Right after deploying them, I'm gonna convert them to the paratrooper template. I went over the cap, well, I can just make this paratrooper template smaller. I could also convert these guys to paratroopers. Let's now drop paratrooper orders into France. Bro, there's a random arrow in the air and it has a shadow. Why? <laughs> Now we're ready to take out France, but before I do that, let's declare war on all of the countries that I have war goals on. Unless I have a war goal on some fascist countries, I'm not gonna declare war on them because then they're just gonna join the Axis and they're gonna ruin my run. The thing here is, they're all minor countries and they're all gonna join the Allies. And if they're in the Allies for more than a week, I'm just gonna get them in the peace deal. Also, Czechoslovakia joined the Allies for whatever reason. Alright, the week has passed, let's now power drop. That should be enough to capitulate France. Also, let's go for the... where is it? I can't find it. National Technology Fund. This will give us the fourth and final resource slot. And this annoys me insanely. Why should I be limited to only four resource slots? Buddy, Liberia can get five resource slots. Oman can get five resource slots. Hell, Bhutan can get them. But Brazil can't because, you know, DLC hammer. And here's our peace deal. You might be wondering what did I do. Well, I puppeted Latin American Raj. I also puppeted UK and France, but I stole most of their colonies. As for South America, I took everything I could, except for Tierra del Fuego, because I'll have to nuke this at some point. I let the Argentinian whales exist down here. I'll have to start making planes. I'm just gonna go for basic small airframe, best engines, and uh, LMGs. I don't really have that much going on for now. As for the cast, I'm just gonna go with bomb blocks, and also best engine ever. Let's do 20 factories each. Justification of Panama is done. Our next country is Mexico. And now I'll modify this template. Let's make it 20 width. And let's also give it support anti-air. By the way, if you're wondering what I did about Czechoslovakia, I changed their government. They're not communist. The Great Chilean Earthquake. This is actually pretty good. Because if we help the people, we get uh, plus 0.5 weekly stability for like a year. Also, let's get survivability studies. Improved small airframe. And also engine 3. Time to lower the autonomy of the UK. Let's go for this full because this will fix our economy some more. Let's smash Panama. For some reason, they're guarding this place here, not their capital. But 400 factories in 1939. What a joke. Get it. 1st of April. Ha ha ha. Let's get the atomic research. It's a little bit early, but uh, we want to rush the nukes. And let's attack. Let's start justifying with the USA. It won't take long because I have cores on here and also in Puerto Rico. Let's lower the autonomy of the Netherlands. Hopefully I can annex them soon so that I don't end up with war against Germany. The Academy is our next focus. This gives us really nice 5% division organization. Justification on USA is done. In the meantime, I could justify on some random countries because I have to do war conquest at the end of the day and justifying as communist country takes forever. So I start by justifying on Siam and also on Bhutan. I'm gonna use my puppet divisions to garrison all of my coast in South America. Last thing I want is annoying American invasions. Let's go for the strength of the common soldier. This focus also gives us more organization. German pressure towards Benelux. Yeah, they will attack us now. I just hope Mexico doesn't join the Axis. Another massive encirclement right here. And I think that's it. Yep, Mexico is gone. We had 100 factories on planes right now. Let's get the tank warfare. Let's also get some divisions on the Maginot Line in case Germany directly attacks France. Also, I think it's time. Let's declare war on the USA. They have their guard down right here, so let's just push into this land. Let's send some stuff to Netherlands. If I manage to annex them soon, I'll be able to avoid the war with Germany for now. I'm gonna try pushing into Midwest. Also, let's go for specializing the heavy guns industries focus. And we got improved smile airframe. Let's make the new planes. This is gonna be my fighter, and this is gonna be my CAS. And oh my, we pushed quite a lot. It's time to attack Bhutan and also Siam. When it comes to fighting here though, I'm just gonna steal divisions from India and they're gonna do the fighting for me. Let's not forget to call in India into the war and also it's just the fine Afghanistan and Nepal. I'm gonna go for the first option, we get defense and attack for artillery. Let's now follow the DPT recommendations. But I think we pushed enough in the southwest. Rip Belgium. Now that's a little bit misfortunate because they got Belgian Congo, now I have to fight them there as well. Bye bye Bhutan, I'm gonna give it to India. Man, why does New Hampshire look like, you know, certain body part? And that's it, we managed to take New York and USA has almost capitulated. Let's rush Washington because if I take it I'm gonna get another achievement. And that's it, proactive defense is here. Is the USA capitulating? Yes it is. I annexed Philippines and I took all the American colonies. I also puppeted them and stole their civs wherever I could do it. Now it's time to send my armies to France to fight against Germany soon. Also, I'm gonna start building infrastructure in the USA to lower their autonomy. Let's go for the foreign advisors. While the USA is still around, I can invite American military advisors. Watch this, we got 600 factories right now and now we got almost 700. 
Let's further increase army professionals. This will give me even more army buffs. Also, let us invade Afghanistan. And the Germany attacked Latin America and France. But we got all four divisions here. But Italy. Oh my god. Alright, I have to send some armies down here as well. I should also pull out of here because I fortified the east border of Netherlands but not the southern one because I didn't expect them to take Belgium. And oh my god, India, I let you down. Let's let you down even more by attacking Nepal. Anyway, let me show you something OP. So when I took out the USA, I had 600 factories. And now I got tons of compliance inside of their territory, 90%. And I also got 100 factories from like uh, stealing their factories in the peace deal. And watch this. I'm gonna annex them and now I'm gonna have... 661. My damn ass forgot to steal their manpower, but that's fine. But that's not all, just wait for it. Here we are, 822 factories. Yeah, that's a little bit OP, don't you think? A little bit OP. And our next focus is on experimental weapons department. Oh my god, I'm still using the old guns. Bye bye. Let's justify on some more countries. I'm gonna justify on Iraq. Or let's do Oman. Let's build tons of airports in northern France. And oh no, the mighty Bulgaria joined the Axis. It's over. It's truly over. We are doomed, Louis. The horse is here, Peter. Here we are, already the first cooperation government. So I'm just gonna say no to them. They did not just leave Bangkok fully exposed. <laughs> bye bye, Siam. We now have to do all these Air Force focuses, so we can get the Programma Parallelo. Let's research the nuclear reactors with the research bonus now. And Germany attacked the Soviets as well. What? Peru has attacked me. I'm completely unprotected. I love this game. Peru offers a white piece in return for Pastaza. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and Ecuador lost its core here, bruh. Here's a friendly word of advice from me. Capitulate Germany first and only then Italy, because this achievement is bugged and the snake smoked. Trust me, it's very bugged. Talking about bugs, let's dismantle our faction and let's join the coming turn. I want to take over their faction leadership and I'll be able to do it soon. Also, let's attack Iraq, they're gonna join the Axis. And the Soviets somehow stole the occupation here. Anyway, we're about to commit one of the most organized trolls in the history of mankind. I'm gonna request all of the extra puppet divisions that I've got. That's 128, that should be good enough. Let's now send them out on the front line between Germany and the Soviet Union. Also, it's time to attack Oman. Next up was just defined Saudi Arabia and Yemen. Wait a minute, I'm not at war with these guys. Okay, now I am. Let's first take out Finland. Is it me or there's just too many victory points in Finland? It's like almost as many as in whole Germany. So all of these divisions are here defending the Soviet Union. I'm gonna take these guys, these two divisions, and let's give them a fallback line in Singapore. Okay, so I wanna take over faction leadership from the Soviet Union. For that, I'm gonna need a little bit more army in the field. Well, let's deploy these guys. And that's it, we got the assuming direct control achievement. Here it is, we did it. We white pieced them and uh... Wait a minute. I'm still at war with them. I think this is what historically happened to Germany and Finland. We're gonna need some operative slots, so let's go for this focus right here. Also, let's start building up Intel network in China. I'll have to fight China eventually and I'm gonna need collaboration government there. And that's it, Finland is gone. I annexed them and stole their navy. When it comes to the elaborate troll of Soviet Union, I'm gonna start by building some supply hubs here in Afghanistan. Let's get all of these divisions to the Soviet Union. I want to get as many as I can. They'll need even more divisions. Let's take the ones from Indonesia. These ones will have a new army and let's give them garrison orders in Soviet victory points in Asia. This is very important because if we want to cap Soviet Union, we'll have to steal their victory points. Time to get sway or neighbors. This will give me another operative slot. And we finish the land doctrine. Let's go for flying fortresses. Let's attack Arabia. Damn, that's a really long Oman. Oh man, they have one division. Actually, two divisions. That's a wow. And look what am I gonna do now. Request expeditionaries. I'm gonna take all of the Mongolian and two one divisions and most of the Soviet ones. Soviet Union has 289. They're gonna give me like 239 definitely. I got like 260 Soviet divisions. Now, all of these divisions will move to Singapore. Also, this is a great opportunity to build railways from Soviet Union to India. So here we are. Let me show you something super cool. We got these 200 divisions in one place. I'm gonna split them off and watch this. I can move them to the Palawan Island. And when they reach this sea province right here, I'm just gonna hit H, stopping them, and then I'm just gonna walk them into this province right here. This is an island province. It doesn't have a port, so it's completely disconnected from the land. And even if the Soviet Union wants to call back its troops, it won't be able to do it. Anyway, let's attack Yemen. Oh my god, I'm out of manpower. Let's go for extensive conscription. There's 283 divisions stuck right here. Now is the time of the year where we do some trolling. We're gonna kick Soviets out of the faction. We do have military access, though. 
I'm gonna move all of my divisions to this garrison template, so they garrison the stuff in the Asian part of the Soviet Union. Basically, we're gonna let Germany push into the Soviet Union from the west, while we're gonna garrison the cities in the east. Now, you might think that the Order 66 is patched, but trust me, it really isn't. We invented Order 67. I know, very original name. Also, it's time to justify on the Soviet Union. I'm gonna justify on some random state uh, in Siberia, which they will never lose. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete all of these divisions, which are my own. Comment down if you see the Soviet capital, because I don't. Anyway, let's get Programma Parallelo. This will get us the nuclear research bonus. Alright, we can declare war on the Soviet Union. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna stop every single one of these divisions. As for every other division, I'm just gonna delete them. They won't be deleted, they'll be transferred to my puppets. I don't want to lose this garrison order, so I'm just gonna put a random division into this army. Let's delete this army. And now I can declare war on the Soviet Union. I can simply request forces from the France, from the UK from India, from uh, Indonesia, from Canada. This way we put Soviet Union on the brink of collapse. Because Germany is pushing from the west and on top of that we also stole the cities in the east. Soviet Union has only a couple of victory points left, so I'm gonna make sure that I take all of them. Also, I'll start justifying on our next set of countries. I'm gonna do Liberia, Ireland and also uh, El Salvador. We took this city, but uh, it's still their capital. Okay, so I got a little bit of score, but the thing is, I don't really care about score. I just want the Soviet Union gone, because otherwise I'd have to fight a very, very strong country. Alright, Soviet Union is gone, that's all I wanted to see. Now I have to focus on taking out Germany. As long as Germany doesn't make it to the Southeast Asia and doesn't get any rubber, I should be fine, because... They just can't produce enough planes. Excuse me, but what the hell is this? There's like no divisions here. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna push in. I just gotta make sure that I build airports wherever I go in case they do come back here and actually fight. I need planes in order to win. I'm seeing France here and they're gonna be an issue because I won't be able to control Berlin. So let's start annexing them. Never mind, France is not giving me occupation issues. They just they just wanted Flanders, but not Valony. Let's give them Valony. This looks ugly on a map. Alright, we got Berlin. We just need to capitulate Germany now. Let's rush the Prussian and also Austrian victory points. And we took Vienna. That should be enough to capitulate them. Yep, here we are. Rip Germany. And Japan just attacked me. Okay, so we got a snake that smoked achievement. Our next achievement is snakes on a plane. For that one, you have to power drop into Rome. I'm gonna convert one of these divisions into paratrooper template. They're not out of the range which means I should be able to power drop into Rome directly. There's also one submarine here, which means that there is no divisions here. Let's just launch this order. Yep, we got snakes on plane achievement. Also, it's time to eat our allies. Bye-bye, France. I don't need you anymore. Justification for Liberia is done. Let's declare war on them. They should join the Axis, and I'm gonna get them in the peace deal. I just invited Greece to faction. Let's transfer the territory. Now, we just have to capitulate Bulgaria somehow, but I'm just gonna do it through Greece. I love it how Greece is now occupying central Macedonia, because, you know, these guys indoctrinated them into thinking they're Bulgarians. <laughs> and that's it. We won the war. Here's the peace deal, I stole everything and just gave a little bit of land to Greece. Goodbye, El Salvador. Also, Norway guaranteed Ireland. Well, thank you for saving me some time. Let's kick out Tanutuva, let's justify against them, also against Iceland, and let's also justify on Dominican Republic. Now, I have to take out Japan somehow. Well, let's first go for landing craft. And I never prepared cooperation government in China, well, that's a shame. These guys are gonna have naval invasion from uh, Apari to... Nagasaki. Also, I'm gonna merge my entire navy and send it to Hollandia. El Salvadorian division fighting in Liberia and Guinea. I love it how this focus is giving random factories in Pacific. And we got the nuclear reactors, so let's now research nukes. I'll also have to build some nuclear reactors, but I'm gonna build them in the places which have the best infrastructure, because these take forever to build and infrastructure is really gonna speed it up. And we made a naval invasion. Come on, guys, you can do it. I'm also gonna send up an extra army here as well. Alright, I think Japan is gone. It's just a matter of time. 2-1 communism failing, let's fix it. <laughs> Alright, so Japan has capitulated. Alright, so here's the peace deal, I took a bit of Japan and uh, El Salvador, Ireland, and we're at war with Norway, they're the leader of the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. I'm literally building Black Mesa <laughs> research facility. Also, in the meantime, I could take out Uruguay. The Dawn of Brotherhood of South America... What? No way. Oh my god, they created a faction. Peru is gonna do the same thing it did to me like <laughs> three years ago. I'm having flashbacks. Might even form Peru, Bolivia. Oh, my they're gonna form the South America, not Peru, Bolivia, man. Time to attack Iceland. Denmark surrenders. Hell no. Why does this give me minus 10% stability? It took Narvik, which, by the way, is five victory point city for some reason. I mean, it's important, but... 
it's really hard to capitulate Norway thanks to that. Alright, let's do something about this Peru before they capitulate me. I could push from the north. Yeah, let's try that out. Let's justify our next set of countries. I'm gonna kick Mongolia out and justify on them. Also, let's do Tibet. Bye-bye, Socialist Republic of Uruguay. And we took out Norway. Let's annex all these countries. And we got the nukes. And it's just gonna take us like two weeks to build our first one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was just to find Welsh Argentina as well. I have to attack them now. Okay, we managed to take their capital, barely. Also, why are these airports so buggy? Look, my planes are here, but the game acts as if the airport was here. I also just attacked Venezuela. They joined the Peruvian faction, which means I'll be able to steal them in the peace deal. And that's it, I got Venezuela for free. That means I got the Rumble in the Jungle achievement. Bingo, bango, bango, I'm so happy in the jungle, I refuse to go. Canada is called Province of Canada. But when you lower their autonomy, they just get their name to British North America. Regardless of who is their overlord. Bye bye Tibet. Bye bye British North America. Let's now justify on Turkey. It's gonna take forever. Let's also justify on Iran. Oh yeah, let's kick uh, Greece out of action. Bye bye Mongolia. And let's now attack these guys. And you've guessed it, we're gonna nuke them. This will get me another achievement, a land of fire. And let's annex them. This will also get me the Ursal achievement. So I'll have to release myself later on as well as Argentina. I'm gonna delete all of the factories right here. I'm gonna keep some military ones and let's build lots of naval dockyards. I'm gonna start preparing for the war against China. I'm gonna build some supply hubs down here. Dudes be like, eh, this is meta, that is meta, dude. I literally did a world conquest with 20 with infantry and outdated equipment. It's single player, meta doesn't matter. Anyway, let's smash. Iran number one. Turkey attacked Greece. Oh my god, thank you so much. Wait, maybe I can create a faction with- Oh yes I can. Yes I can. Alright, let's join this war. I'm gonna start justifying with Switzerland, but because that will take forever. In the meantime I can go for maybe Yugoslavia, and then after that maybe Spain. And now we do a funny troll with Greek divisions. You gotta be kidding me, Turkey just won't push them. I guess I'm gonna justify them myself. Bye bye, Socialist Republic of Great Britain. Always more satisfying to attack Turkey from the east than from the west. And look, they're pushing into Greece now. Hey, it's a little bit too late, buddy. Swiss Confederation just embargoed us. That means they won't be able to trade with anyone else. All right, this is the peace deal. Oh my God, this is so ugly. Yeah, Greece deserves to get destroyed after this. Goodbye, Italy and Greece. Man, I love death and destruction. I love death and destruction. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I love the green bubbles. I play Hoi 4 just for the green bubbles. Goodbye, my most loyal puppet, Indonesia. I'm also gonna make a naval invasion into Shanghai. And maybe one more naval invasion into the Shandong Peninsula. Here's the war goal on the Switzerland. Also, this is for all the people who had a loan in Swiss francs. You're welcome. Switzerland has a lot of manpower. So instead of just taking them out, I'm gonna let them lose that manpower by nuking them. And then when they hit zero, I'm actually gonna take them out. I'm casualty maxing in Switzerland. I mean, Switzerland deserved it. If they didn't, I don't know who did. They had such a warm Christmas, didn't they? Mmm, I love this. I love chaos. Well, Switzerland hit almost a million casualties. I can sleep well now. They're doing the examination, Yuan. <laughs> Why is this? I, I, what's wrong with me? Alright, let's attack China. And I'll start by pushing them out of Japan. And oh boy, they're doing the funny force attacks here. Okay, we managed to take Shanghai. That's nice. We also took Qingdao. Justification for Sweden is here. Let's play around them. And they joined the Chinese United Front. And that's it. China is gone. I just had to capitulate Guangxi, Kweek and Sweden. There goes Shangxi and Guangxi. Wait. Is that... Oh my god. That's... I found a truck. I found a school bus. We must take it out. Does that mean their leader just gets, like, replaced, right? I just hope that Xinjiang doesn't become a major because, oh my god, that's gonna be a major headache. I wonder if a certain second son will change their mind. Nope, they still capitulate at... Never mind, they capitulate at 20. Okay, that's better. Go away. Disappear. Disappear. That's it, we capitulated them, and the major is Sinkyang. Well, let's annex India first. Finally, the peace deal. Alright, that's another achievement, bad ending, whole world is Brazil. And that's the world conquest. The last achievement that's left is the Dragon Rises. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna release Wales as an independent country. Release, play as. I should have entire Patagonia for myself. And a lots of political power. 
So it's just until we get a communist revolutionary. Brazil is now making millions of cooperation governments. Anyway, let's start justifying on Wales. It's gonna take four months. We got over 10% communist support, so let's do anti-democratic raids. Let's make sure we don't have any divisions and we can just ignite the civil war. Actually, I'll have to prepare first and now I can ignite it. Let's put one division into training and we're gonna need manpower. For that, I'm just gonna go here and do ideological loyalty. Well, these guys want me their faction, okay. Let's call them to the war. They're gonna win the civil war for me. The Mexican Junta de Cuerva on Latin American Mexico. Since we're at war, I can steal land lease. I can get some convoys. Who's gonna win? Simon Patagonia or Iplalpa Grimdrich? By the way, I'm not feeling sorry about making fun of your language. It's worse than French and that's like an achievement. Who's gonna win? Alan Hughes or Rorty Lloyd? Also, aren't they Welsh? Why do they have Latin American portraits? I don't get it. Also, this nation is just so lazy. Look at this. The same flag for both ideologies. By the way, did you know that this city can be capital of the Chilean Empire? And that's it. We won the Civil War. Let's now naval invade with this part trooper division from Bristol to Cardiff. <laughs> Germany under attack. What? Okay, let's declare war on them, make sure not to call in our allies, and let's do the naval invasion. And that's it, we got control over Wales, which means we unlocked the achievement. I'm not even gonna bother conquering it, so some of you feel annoyed. I'm such a menace, I know. Once again, if this video gets 1000 likes, I will do another Brazil run, which will be absolutely epic. Almost like nothing you've ever seen before. And yeah, see you in the next video, and bye. Also, how the hell did these guys get Eritrea? <laughs> Look, their capital is here.